Hi, I'm Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to turn on your in-ground sprinkler system. You don't need to call your sprinkler guy. You can do it yourself. It's very, very simple. I would recommend, if you're a bit skeptical, that you do this ahead of time. In other words, right after you know that there's not going to be any nights where it's going to get down below freezing, you can try everything out, and if you do end up having a problem, you can still call and book your sprinkler guy and get a decent date. So here's how we do it. Now everybody's system is a bit different, but here I have a valve that has been turned off for the winter. So I'm going to rotate that slowly. You heard some water move and then it stopped. And now over here, if I can get this open, Here's my timer. Now I have everything set to manually off right now, but I'm going to change that and move everything up to the two minute mark. Okay, I have everything now at two minutes and we're all set. So now we turn this knob over to auto and again, your timer may be different. And now I'm going to hit manual and enter. And now we'll go outside. I happen to have a spigot on mine. I'm going to just open that for a minute. Just to get some air out of there, as you saw. And I'll move this handle and get out of the way. You hear air. I heard some water. And we're just waiting for the lines to fill. There's a sprinkler head in here, which once the line gets to full pressure should pop up. And it looks like it has somewhat. It's going back down, but that's because there's still more air. And as the rest of the line fills, it pops up. So I know that head is working. There's one somewhere in here, which I saw before. That's working. My drip emitter is uh, needs to be adjusted, and we need a plant here anyway. But that's going good. There's a mister in the corner. That's working. And there's one in there, which may have just sprayed the camera. That's working fine. And we have a head there, and a head there, but I believe there was one here, so I'm going to have to come back to that. Yeah, I'm going to have to dig around for it. You can see all the water there where it's pooling up. It's not popping up. It probably got grown over. So we'll come back to that. Okay, first zone shut off. The second zone should be coming up. There we are. There's one there, one there, and I believe there's one on the curb which is not functioning properly. Yeah, this one always gets grown over, so I'll have to come back to that one. I like to just clean the schmutz off of that. You can sort of cup your hand over it like this to sort of wash it off. Same here. They seem to be doing fine. Okay, zone two is just shut off. And there is one head there, one there, and one here. So let's clean these off. doing all right and zone four is over here and 
There's one, and one against the fence. Very good. And this one isn't even that dirty. And there's a rainbow. Now there's a double rainbow. Double rainbow, oh my god. Double rainbow, it's a double rainbow all the way. There's zone five. This one may be overgrown. Oh, okay, we still have some air in the line. So maybe not. That came up. This one came up. And this one here is definitely overgrown. You can see it coming up right here. I feel it, but sometimes you need persuasion from something like a flat blade screwdriver. Oh, there, now it came up. Sometimes you just have to get full, full pressure and all the air out of the line for it to work. Zone 6 is starting. We have a head there and couple more but it sounds like there's a lot of air still there's one here there's one here that's getting me And this one here, which has lost its top some time ago, still works. And zone six just shut off, and zone seven should shut, uh, come on. Shut on, I was going to say. I know there's a head somewhere in this neck of the woods, but we are waiting for the lines to fill. There should be one over by the chair, which should really be moved back where it belongs. And something. Good. There's one here. One back here. one down over here. Alright, not too bad. So now we know zone one and two have issues, so let's go take care of that. Okay, I've readjusted my sprinkler timer to put zones one and two, the problem zones, on for ten minutes apiece. So we're going to go cycle it back on and then see if we can get everything to work. Now as you can see, I have a head right there. So if you don't want to get too wet doing this, just get a bucket. This one is all broken and beat up, has a hole in it and whatever. But I use it for fireworks, which is <laughs> why the uh, burn marks on it. Uh, but just put that right over your sprinkler head and that way you can work on the one in piece. Here is the head in question. I just dug around with a flat blade screwdriver and found that it was just really sort of overgrown grass, weeds, whatever you name it. And just dug around, kept poking with the screwdriver and it took me a few minutes but I found it. And you'll feel the water coming right up from that spot when you finally discover exactly where it is. And then just, uh, if it's not coming up, just dig in there with the screwdriver and it'll pop up. And the bucket over there kept me nice and dry while I did it.
Looks like this would be the problem for me for the second zone. So we'll do that. And now we'll go work on this right over here. So you just kind of keep poking at it. You can sort of get the dirt out from around it, stuff like that, and just keep working at it. So let me do that. And there it is. Let's get that out of the way. Clean all this off. We can move some of the dirt and weeds and grass out of the way. And that's it. Whoop! <laughs> Hit my screwdriver. So that's all there is to opening your in-ground sprinklers. You pretty much turn them on. If you have any heads that aren't working properly, you just get a flat blade screwdriver and poke in the ground and work at them until they pop up. And then monitor them over the next couple of cycles or run some manual cycles on the particular zone. If the sprinkler head still has problems, you may consider replacing it. And many times your big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards or Ace Hardware or whatever you have by you will sell sprinkler heads. And all it takes is a little garden trowel. Just dig around it. It unscrews and you screw the new one in. Very simple. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. That lets me know I did a good job making this video and I can continue to provide them for you. Have a great day.